um, with um, virtual reality and how we use, can use that for training. And the other will be in the room behind us uh, where um, Gary will be talking about RP. So look forward to that. And then we'll come back here around five o'clock and do a panel discussion. So we have three uh, panelists. Uh, we'll be talking about leadership skills for the arts profession, you know, in the future. Um, I'm going to say future in terms of, you know, everything we've come, learned from COVID and just Black Lives Matter, just seeing a lot of changes over the last two years and that really will trigger, require different leadership styles. And then we will close out around quarter to five. So that's the plan for today. We also want to spend some time as a committee, um, you know, meeting you all, the members. We want to hear from you, like, what's, what's been effective these last two years? What would you like to see going forward? You know, do you want to see 100% face-to-face or did you see value in virtual? Because with virtual, you can watch the recording afterwards, right? So maybe that's a benefit. So we want to hear some of those things. What are some of the themes you would like to see in future events? Uh, we'll, we'll highlight some of the topics we're looking to present um, over this year. Um, the Back to Basics Summer School Series. We think it was successful, but tell us if it was. As we plan, Luke is planning that for this year. So what should we be doing differently? So many of us as a committee will be around. Um, we really want to hear from you. Uh, as a branch member, what do we need to be doing for you to feel valued and appreciated and listening to? So I just have a few slides before I ask Louise to come on. I hope that works. Okay. I see the error of how we say that. Okay, this is where I wanted to get to. Good. Yeah. So this is our uh, current committee, our children committee, um, and this is the principal officers. So myself as chair, Luke James, um, say hi Luke. Hello. He's vice chair. Tony comes, the man behind the camera. Tony's done some amazing work, um, especially with virtual and recordings and so on. Kevin Barr has, has um, recently joined us, uh, holding on as our secretary, got co-opted, but you know, looking for more committee members um, to join us, so we'll talk about that. And then these are the other um, committee members, Alan, Alan, the guy behind Summer School Series, and many other things. Alan comes up with great titles for our um, sessions. And so, Really great member. Um, who else is here? No one else is here uh, for different reasons. Jake is expecting a baby very soon, so he's on baby watch with his wife. Uh, Tim is actually in Sweden. Sweden, right? So, one of the things our branch, we do have some international members, so we did have someone who was from Trinidad as well. And yeah, a couple of other people are kind of not local which has been an advantage of a virtual, but again, um, it is, we do want to keep that local feel of the Chilton branch as well. So that's our committee members. I know today's March 1st, so hopefully people have submitted an application to join our committee. We are looking for new committee members. There's a lot of things we want to do um, as a committee. We want to continue having good um, virtual sessions, we want to start to do more face-to-face, um, -face. we want to talk about uh, mentoring, we want to get into the future of the profession. There's lots of things, but we need um, more people to help us. So if you're interested, and it's really rewarding, so I got co-opted back in 2020 and you know signed up wanting to contribute and end up in this position and it's been a learning experience, you know, growing experience. So, you know, please join us. I know Kevin has a story around him thinking last year, should I sign up or not? And now, hopefully you have a plan. <laughs> so, yeah, so today is the last day for nominations, but um, voting on, so it will be happening over the next month, and then our AGM is on April 27th. So, we are looking for a secretary and a treasurer as principal officers, and then about four committee members. Just a little bit about the branch 
branch membership, we currently have 596 members for Chilton. And um, you can see here the distribution of our membership. Most of our members are CMIOSH and Grad IOSH. And actually last year, five members achieved CMIOSH status. I don't know if any of you are in the, um, the audience there. Excellent. Congratulations, Kevin. Yay. who have moved um, status and you know recognize them so want to work on how we can do that we have one member that has become CFIOSH anybody in the audience became charter fellow if not um, and 16 new members joined the branch um, last year now so not a high number but we have a lot of followers on LinkedIn I mean our LinkedIn followers are about 1200 1250 or so yeah. So we have a lot of us, which I do value having people, you know, from different locations, learning, growing, and sharing. So there is something to say about virtual, um, but again, we know we want that local feel. And then 25% of our members are female. So um, just one of the elements we're looking at in terms of our um, branch diversity. I'm going to try to... I have to make sure this is fine for you. I'll just okay, great. These were our these are our goals for this year. We wanted to grow our branch um, membership, hold at least 12 branch events. I know we've done that. Um, joint events. So one of the things we, we aim to do and we've been doing over the last two years is doing more joint events with our um, other branches. You know, you all would have contributed, if you've attended any of our virtual meetings, you do feedback. We try to get um, at least 90% of our survey participants giving us at least a grade 4 plus out of 5. So actually, our statistics have been really good in terms of um, feedback. Um, about 20% of our members who attend branch meetings. So it is something, for me as a chair, I've been looking at in terms of we do get high numbers attending our events, but they're virtual. How many of them are our branch members? So we'd love to find out, you know, if you haven't been able to make an event virtual if, for the last two years, what's been some of the limitations? Is it the time? Is it the day? Is it the topic? You know, we'd love to kind of hear that in some of the um, conversations um, when we're walking about um, over the next two hours. Um, we want them to follow us to go to 2000. So we're about 12 something now. Twitter followers, I know Alan is interested with the Twitter followers. 787. Nice. It's <laughs> 2,000, please. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Twitter. And like, celebrate at least 12 members' progression along Irish membership. I've been trying to, how do we get that information? You want to just recognize that. I know some of the challenges GP. GRP. GDPR. GDPR, sorry. Um, so we're working with our regional manager, Brenton, around how we can do, you know, get that information in the right way. Some of the upcoming events, um, I said we, we, we meet as a branch bi weekly, as a committee, sorry, bi weekly, and then we have like an events group where we get together to be looking at topics and so on. And Alan's been great at suggesting topics um, in particular. So this is what our look ahead looks um, for the rest of the year. We want to do a session around our strategic and trends and preparing for the next job. That will be at the same time that we're doing our AGM in April. May we be focusing on driving safety, June progressing through the OSH grades, and then July and August, back to basics is back. So as I said, Luke will be planning that and we're looking to add a site visit to the back to basic um, series. So we're looking at the topics like a continuation of last year's back to basic series. And then in the fourth quarter, our usual legal update. And um, we want to do academic presentations from university students and an end of year branch event. So, 2020, we tried to do a Christmas virtual. So, we had like a webby bar quiz and so on, but we'll be ready to get back in person and, and celebrate the end of the year. Mm -hmm. I think that's my last slide outside of. I know you all see this if you attend our branch meetings, just a reminder of the various comms um, methods that we have. So um, we do have the microsite that you'll be familiar um, with. So that's this one here. Um, we have the um, YouTube channel. 
and we do publish out via mail out, some regular comms, and then of course we have LinkedIn. And we're using LinkedIn a lot, so hopefully you're all following us on LinkedIn as we talked about. So those are some key things I wanted to mention around us as a branch and as a community.